Hello and Randy here playing Farming Simulator 19 on Georgetown, uh, New York. We're mostly done seeding here this uh, episode. I think we've got a little bit of corn that needs to be uh, finished up here yet. The 730 is still, I'm not sure how he's still working on that field yet. He should be uh, done by now, but he's, uh, he's still working on that field. Uh, since last episode, brought some more equipment up to the farm here. Uh, picked up a sprayer, got her anhydrous tank over here, picked up uh, some spray, got her weeder up here. Yeah, just did a whole bunch of uh, transporting here since uh, last episode. And uh, yeah, we got some uh, field work here to do today as far as uh, spraying and weeding and all that uh, good fun stuff. Uh, yeah, fun stuff, right? So anyway, let's get this uh, cedar put away here a moment and uh, tractor as well, I guess. Looks like you probably could use a bath. Wow. Talk about some repair needed on that one. My goodness. Is it just me or does it seem like the uh, equipment's wearing out awfully fast here? Or that. Maybe, maybe I'm just used to like nowhere cans or something, everyone. Which, yeah, I mean, yeah, kind of to be expected over there. But that took more like, uh, you know, you're looking at like 24 hours on that map uh, before we were wearing equipment out. So some of the stuff only has a couple of hours on it. That seems a little weird. Oh, 7.30. Hmm, that's all you got done? You should have more than that done. What are you doing? You're not sitting over here doing the circle of death, are you? Hmm. Not sure what it looks like, don't it? Kind of what it looks like. Looks like you, uh... Yeah, you left off over here and did something stupid after that, didn't you? That's what it looks like, doesn't it? Okay, I should have known. Okay, there we go. Uh, anyway, I would have thought this field was almost done. I guess not. Uh, typical course play had other uh, plans. We'll have to come back to that. Hopefully we got enough seed here. The last, I think this is the last of the seed I have left right there, so... That's not going to be enough. We're going to have to go down to the shop there and get some more seeds. Speaking of which, I did go down to the shop, picked up some uh, herbicide here. I was going to, I bought a tank here. I, went, I was going to take that down to the shop and fill it up. But the uh, the tank here is so squirrely behind this truck. I just, yeah, I went about 100 feet down the road. It's like, <laughs> no, just no, this, this is not going to work. So ditched the tank, and I just went down and picked up a couple pallets here instead. Yeah, I don't know what it was. I don't know if it's the truck or the tank here, but it was just all over the place. Next thing you know, you're facing 360 degrees the other direction. Like, wait, what What happened? And the tank is, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's something with the tank or the truck, but, uh, oh, and I don't have my skid steer down here, do it. So by the, okay, well, we can uh, just leave that in there for the moment. Uh, did pick up the anhydrous here as well. Don't have anything to put the anhydrous down with at the moment. And this actually is anhydrous in here, by the way. Uh, as I mentioned last episode, I'm not entirely sure what to do with it, because what's it do? I get what it does in real life, but what's what's it do on the map here, right? So, um, I don't know, we'll, we'll figure that out. Uh, anyway, wanted to start off this episode by doing some uh, weeding here. Got the uh, Farmall International uh, 966 here, hooked up to our weeder we purchased last episode. And I'm probably going to do a whole lot with it here because it's kind of hard to tell. But uh, we're going to take it for a couple spins here, hopefully get rid of some weeds. And then, uh, yeah, looks like it's getting rid of the weeds, I think, isn't it? And I'll probably set this up with course play because, uh, like I said, it's going to be, well, I'm set up the Jeep. Oh, I don't have GPS on this tractor, do I? Okay, that wouldn't work. Yeah, okay, course play it probably is then. Or either then I'm going to have to go get GPS, uh, tractor with GPS, or put GPS on this tractor. One of the two there. And at least in uh, 19 here, when GPS uh, is rather an expensive option. So it's not like back in 17 where as long as it was a drivable vehicle, we had a GPS. Uh, don't quite have that luxury here uh, in this game. And unfortunately, we can't just, you know, transfer GPS from one vehicle to the next either. It's not quite so nice either, but oh well. As I've said before, I mean, that is one of my complaints about the uh, GPS mod. It is a little pricey, if you ask me. And then when you start having to buy it on you know, multiple tractors, you can add up a lot of money real quick. You know, $15,000 per tractor. Yeah, it gets a little expensive. But that was kind of cool with the Alice Chalmers there. And I haven't seen that before in a tractor. How the Alice Chalmers actually had a GPS option. Uh, it was a cheaper option. It actually added like a GPS monitor to it as well. 
So that's kind of a cool option. Like I said, I have not uh, seen that done before. And don't forget, if you haven't uh, done so already, don't forget to uh, subscribe to the channel here. Uh, give the video a thumbs up. Or, well, you know, maybe if you're inclined, you can give it a thumbs down too. But, you know, thumbs up are always uh, much more appreciated. And if you'd like to uh, join us on the multiplayer servers, again, anyone's welcome to do so as long as you can uh, play nicely, follow the rules. Microphone's not required to join, by the way. And mods for joining the servers can be found in TeamSpeak. Again, links for the mods, or actually a whole download package essentially for the mods for the servers is located in TeamSpeak. Okay, I'll have to just double check here, make sure. That I'm pretty sure this looks like it's getting rid of the weeds, but let's just uh, actually make sure here. Oh yeah, getting rid of the weeds, nice. Uh, fields, I think all my fields are fully fertilized here, so I don't really need any more fertilizer. So again, like I said, I'm not sh entirely sure what the anhydrous is gonna do. Um, my guess is nothing here because it's not like it has an application layer here for it. So I'm presuming uh, if you don't have an application of fertilizer, maybe it adds fertilizer. But there again, like I said, my fields are fully fertilized here at this point. So uh, if I had known that, what I probably would have done everyone is I would not have put the first application of fertilizer down. Which, ooh, that reminds me of a comment I got here. Oh, was it last episode, episode before, something like that? Someone was asking, does it make a difference what order you do your field work in? And as far as the game goes, everyone, I don't know that it really matters. Um, there are a couple things you do have to keep in mind, like with fertilizer. Um, if you put fertilizer down in your field and then you plant that, you're not going to get the benefit of the fertilizer your planter puts down. So you can't fertilize and then plant with a planter that fertilizes. You're, you're going to miss out an application of fertilizer there, and I'm horribly missing these weeds here. This is why I either want GPS or we're going to have course play do this. <laughs> we'll, we'll probably we'll do this round we're going to have course play do this. I think we'll get set up for maybe do some spraying on some of the other crops here. So, I, again, like I said, everyone, um, you need to have something in between the fertilizer application and the planting. If your planter supports fertilizer, anyway, which most in-game ones, well, I shouldn't say maybe most. Several of the in-game ones do. A lot of the modded ones do as well. They support putting fertilizer down with the planter. So, you know, anything uh, in between the fertilizer and planting will count. Uh, putting down line counts. Uh, plowing the field, cultivating the field, uh, anything like that will count as something in between the planting. You can also do uh, liquid manure or slurry, uh, and then you can go straight over that with a planter. That uh, that does work as well. That's another option there. Uh, lime you can pretty much put down at any point. Um, you know, spraying for weeds, you got to obviously do that when the weeds actually show up on the field. A little caveat there, pretty much, but other than that, pretty straightforward. Uh, and yeah, pretty much whatever order you want to do the field work in is up to you. Uh, I like to try to keep it a little bit somewhat realistic, I guess you could say, everyone. Typically, when you're putting down fertilizer, lime, a uh, product like that will get incorporated into the soil, plowed, cultivated, something like that. So that's the way I usually like to do it if I can. And then, of course, you know, when it comes to plowing and cultivating as well, you would never plant on a plowed field. Uh, you would have to, you know, some sort of finishing... Uh, across that field first before you would plant on a plowed field. So there again, you'll like to, uh, if we got a plowed field, I like to cultivate it, that type of thing. Is it necessary? No. Does the game care? Nope. But uh, again, for some semblance of realism, like I said, I kind of like to cultivate the field. Uh, okay, we almost made it around here. Like I said, we're going to throw some, wow, weeders 9.5% broken already. Wow. Wowie wow wow. Okay. I think repair is going to be uh, something on this map, it seems like.
Okay, course play. I think you're up. Mm -hmm. Like I said, then I need to get GPS on this tractor, which uh, I don't have, and I don't feel like spending the $15,000 for that right at this point. So, course play. And this is, I think, like 5.4 meters or something like that. Shouldn't take course play too long to do this uh, field. So, field nine. Oh, three headlands. That seems like that should be enough. Racetrack five. Oh, 5.6 meters per course play. Hey, it works for me. First waypoint. <laughs> I know I already went around the field, but I'm just going to have course play go around again. Just start the first waypoint. Yes, I know I already did it, but oh well. Uh, how are we looking over here? We uh, we doing our job over here finally there, course play? Hey, look at that. Much, much better. Uh, planting hops on this uh, field here, by the way. Uh, so what do we got? We got hops. We got corn. We got alfalfa. We got... Um, I forget which one of these has wheat on it. Is it a small one? Yeah, small one has wheat, and the larger one here has soybeans on it. So... I'm just waiting for this field to get planted here. Uh, that should be done this episode, I would hope. Right, course play? You never know. Um, so, yeah, once that's done, we'll probably fast forward time through the night. And like I said, our next episode, I don't know if what will be ready to harvest first. I guess we'll find out. Cornfield was planted here first. So I'm just going to guess it's probably going to be ready first, I would think. Got the Gleaner Combine over here as well. I drove it all the way up from the shop. Whew, that's a bit of a drive at 15 miles an hour with that Combine, by the way. Yeah, bit of a drive. Just a bit. So, let's get the uh, sprayer going here. And I really would like to have the uh, skid steer. So, let's... Uh, we'll grab that here, I guess. Drive it back down. Hopefully, there's enough seed in the planter there to last the rest of that field. And as I was saying earlier, that's all the seed we have here anyway. So, don't have a whole lot of seed left. I think we still got a pallet or two fertilizer in there yet, so we're good on the fertilizer. And plus, for that matter, we have the entire tender that's full of fertilizer, too. Well, it's not completely full, but it's got a bunch in it. Okay, we'll read a few uh, comments here a moment. Uh, Crenshaw was asking, will the 9380 be on the console? Um, no, I do not have any plans on releasing that for the uh, console. Uh, Emily was saying, love the case. Uh, GFR player craft was saying, mega like. Hey, thank you very much for that. Uh, yes, uh, Ethan was saying, hops would be an interesting uh, to see. Just saying, uh, hops would be interesting to see. Hmm. Sounds like a suspicious comment there, if you ask me. Prodigy was saying, why am I still awake? To watch a R.D. Allen, of course. Wow. Uh, considering my uh, videos, at least my time, go live at 6 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I hate to think what time you're staying up to to watch that. You know, I guess if you're over maybe on the West Coast or something like that, but that's still like, what, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. Well, 3 o'clock in the morning, right? So... Okay, there we go. And let's see. So hopefully this will go high enough here to get that top one off. Of course, you know, the telehandler has no uh, problem getting up there. Oh, I think we got this. No problem. I can get lined up with it here anyway. Oh. I'm on now. Whoa. Gotta love Giants physics. Gotta love it. There we go. We got it. Now I can take the straps off here a moment. Probably gonna go sprung it up. Nope. Actually didn't go sprung it up. I thought it was maybe gonna be a little more spring loaded than that. I guess not. Good. Ooh, that is heavy. Oh. Molly. Okay. Got it. You know, I guess for a small skid steer like this, I mean, this actually probably would be a pretty good load for this size skid steer. This isn't, uh, you know, a very big skid steer. It's expensive, though. Have I mentioned that before? Bloody awful expensive. 
probably one of the more, uh, outside of the uh, truck there, probably one of the most expensive things we got on the farm here. You know, most of the tractors only, uh, you know, 5, 10, maybe 20. I don't think we even have a $20,000 tractor at this point, do we? I don't think so. Trying to think what expensive tractors we might have here. Yeah, don't really know of any expensive tractors we have. So, you know what? I'm going to have to uh, get that off the back, aren't I, before I get the rest of those pallets out. Or better yet, we could just leave them in there and fill. Hmm. We could do that, couldn't we? Actually, you know what? We could transfer them straight to the tank there. That might work. I like that idea. Let's go for that. And we got a tractor right there that can pull the tank. Perfect. Okay, John Deere 830. Hopefully it'll connect to this tank here. We don't have some sort of weird hitch uh, problem here. This hitch doesn't work with that hitch. You know, goodness. Okay, just try to pull up as close to the truckers again. Hopefully we can just uh, fill from up there. I'm hoping that'll work anyway. Yeah, my oh no, that is close enough. Okay, I'm just saying, I'm not sure that was close enough, but it is. And then as far as the anhydrous goes, too, everyone, I'm not sure how I'm going to apply that yet. Uh, as I mentioned last episode, the applicator we currently have does not work for the anhydrous we have. So I either need to get the correct applicator. The only problem is the correct applicator takes, uh, well, at least it claims anyway, 250 horsepower. Uh, that was under crop protection, I think, right? Yes. Crop protection, that was... Nope, that was not that one. Although that is a nice looking one. Wouldn't mind uh, giving that a try in the future, but that one does not do anhydrous. And I suppose someone could potentially, possibly, maybe fix that problem. That might be the best route here. One, you know, if someone to actually, you know, potentially fix the problem so it does actually hold anhydrous. I don't know how hard that would be to do. Uh, but yeah, the and actually anhydrous actually goes with this uh, particular one here, the Nitro Master NH38000. But that again, 250 horsepower. Uh, ooh, and it's pricey too, eighty-five thousand dollars for that. So, yeah, it's a little bit expensive. Just a little bit expensive there. So, not sure if I want to go that route or not. Looks like this one is as well. Liquid tank, liquid cart, sprayers increase. I wonder if this one works with. See, the problem is you don't know, I mean, because there's no levels on these. I wonder if this one actually works with anhydrous. Also no attachers. Why is there no attachers? Where are you supposed to put whatever this thing uh, holds if it doesn't have attachers? It kind of looks like it's for anhydrous. Maybe it's not. I don't know. Anyway, like I said, I'm going to have to kind of sort of figure that out. Oh, and that tank is not quite empty, is it? Oh, well, whatever. Well, let's uh, get the sprayer. Oh, you know what? What I could do, everyone? Yes. I could pull up next to this with the uh, sprayer here, and hopefully that'll get the last little bit. I'm not sure how much the sprayer holds. Oh, and as you can tell, I did decide to go with a little bit different sprayer, everyone. Wasn't quite sure how to make that first sprayer I had purchased work with the tractors I have. We needed some sort of you know, front attacher tank mount. And I don't know if any of the ones I currently have have that or not. Mind you, I could have probably picked up a certain white tractor I know that has that. Hmm. Might have been an idea. I think I'm going to go grab the rest from this tank over here, and we'll keep the tender full that way. Not the widest of uh, spread on this particular sprayer here, but, uh, you know, seeing how we're starting out kind of small, I'm going to... Should be a good, uh... Oh, boy. Good fit for starters, hopefully. 
Might have might have bent the hitch up there a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, we'll probably uh, start by spraying the wheat here. We could probably use the weeder on the soybeans as well. Should work for that as long as you know they're not uh, growing too tall here yet. Okay, course generation. This is number 13 here, field 13 headland. Um, two seems like it should be enough. Maybe three. Let's see what's what three gives us. And guess it'll work. We'll find out. First waypoint drive course. Okay, there we go. Our cute little sprayer. That is uh, that is a cute little sprayer, all right, too, isn't it? Yes. Bye bye weeds. Yep, the weeds are going uh, goodbye. Perfect. I'll be looking over on the 730 here. Still a plan. Now he's got 61% uh, left. Ooh, that's probably going to be a little close. A little close, I think. Had to fill him up once already, once he got done with the headlands there. It was actually weird, too. Uh, what I didn't get, everyone, he finished the headlands. And he was literally halfway. You see this diagonal line right here. He was a little, like, about by that grass spot there. Uh, that's where he stopped. He's out of seed. It's like, wait, what? How did you run out over here? You're not supposed to be seeding through here. And you, and you can see he didn't. But, uh, yeah, somewhere how, yeah, he ran out of seed. And it's like, oh, okay, that was kind of weird course, but whatever. Oh, well. Okay, still weeding. Looking good. And like I was saying, I'm not sure what crops will be ready first. Um, I'm kind of hoping maybe the alfalfa would be, kind of would make sense, but I'm not sure. If not, we'll probably just start with the uh, corn here. Again, definitely want to get into some cows here. Nice looking uh, cow barn on this uh, map, at least if you ask me. So I want to give it a try. Get as many as we can in here, which we don't have a whole lot of money left. And we still need to invest in, what else do we need to invest in here? Uh, mower, I guess. So, yeah, we got actually a fair amount of equipment we're going to have to invest in here yet, everyone. Um, that might be a bit of a problem for buying cows. We'll have to see once here, but... Yeah, so we'll need a mower. Again, as I had mentioned before, I would like to do the round bales here, if I could. Let's see what's your baling technology. I don't know that it really matters which one we go with here. Oh, can you what? oh that's kind of expensive, though, isn't it? Yeah, that's kind of expensive. Okay, probably not that one. Mm, that's a nice looking one. Kind of expensive too. Maybe a little too new too. Do we got anything old? We got the John Deere ones. I've used those before. And if I did do this one, I'd have to probably use the four foot one so it would work with the uh, wrapper thing that's over here. Uh, what else do we got? What else? Not a whole lot else, do we? I mean, we could go with idiot blocks. I think I'll pass on that one, though. Let's see. How much in-game? New Holland 49th. Okay, so John Deere is probably going to be the one we're going to go with, everyone. Yeah, John Deere 6,000 is uh, $13,000 for that baler. So, oh, there's some other stuff here, isn't there? There is. Like That one looks like they both say alfalfa. I can't quite make out what it says below it. I don't know. It's one dry alfalfa and one's wet alfalfa. I'm just a guessing there. That'd be my, uh, my guess anyway. But uh, yeah, we'd like to get that piece. That's actually not too expensive. $30,000 for that. And then if we get a mower, actually, you know what? Shall we buy that right now? Might as well, right? We're going to need the baler. So John Deere baler right there. And then we're going to need a mower. Probably a windrower, rake, all that good stuff here as well. Uh, let's see where our mower's at. Mower's. Got the John Deere MoCo for 17,000. Four meters on that one takes a 90 horsepower tractor. That's not uh, too bad. Hmm. Don't remember if I've used this one before or not. It looks pretty nice. Uh, yes, we have the uh, New Holland ones. Definitely have used those before. Oh, uh, we got the New Holland 116 Haybine. 
That's the one, that's the one that has the lowering problem, isn't it, though? Nine meters. Twelve miles an hour? Wow, that can, uh, that can move right along mowing. Okay, so it looks like I'm thinking either the John Deere Mo equivalent. That's not too expensive, 17000 Or we got the New Holland Haybine for 12000 Yeah, that's not uh, not too bad, I suppose. Let's see, what else would we need here? Oh, yeah, Windrower. Right, Windrower. Um, Windrower. Expensive. Swadrow 2000 And uh, probably a little overkill. Ooh. We do have the uh, new Holland rakes with a 252 rake hitch. Hmm, have I used that before? I think I probably have, but that might be a good fit for the farm here. That would not cost us a whole lot. The other option, we do have the uh, V rake. 23000 and 25000 Yeah, they're kind of pricey, so that probably will be our best option right there. Get uh, two new Holland roller bar uh, rakes there and this uh, funky hitch thing. And this one here, oh yes, I have used this one before. I mean, yeah, I remember using this one, everyone, because I got you know, one hitches there, one hitches back here, and then it slides over. It doesn't actually hitch two next to each other, which is something I've uh, seen before. They hitch one on one side, one on the other side, and you know, merges to the middle. In some ways, that's probably a little easier, merging to the middle, if you ask me, but that's not the way that particular one works. Okay, so, actually, you know what? Shall we buy that right now? Might as well, right? While we're uh, waiting for some equipment to go. One of those. Two of these. Okay, and... Let's see what's here. Then we need the mower yet, right? So, I'm thinking we'll go with the John Deere one, everyone. That's what I'm thinking anyway. Nice, oh wait, wrong category. Nice, shiny new mower. <laughs> Everything else we have is old, right? Eh, maybe not the greatest fit. Maybe I should go with the new Holland Haybine. That might be a little better fit for our current farm. Okay, yeah, why not? We'll go with this one. I seem to remember this one has a lowering problem, but uh, we can overcome that with, uh, was it Control-V, I think? Or raise and lower all. Should uh, take care of that. Okay, so that means we're going to have to uh, make a trip down to the shop here again to pick some of that up. I'll probably uh, try to do that between episodes here. I won't, uh, won't bore you folks with those uh, details here this episode. So we got baler, wind rowers. Uh, I wonder if we need a tether. Yes, we probably should get a tether because, yeah, we don't have seasons here, right? So, hmm, don't have much for options, do I? That one, that one, or that one? That's 8.7 meters. That is 6 meters. Uh, yeah. How about this one? I don't know if I've ever used this one before. Okay, $21,000 left. And that doesn't leave us a whole lot for cows. Or ways of hauling bales. Or getting a wrapper. Yeah. Not a whole lot of options at all, does it? Oh, well. Well, uh, we might just have to maybe, uh, over here, you know, and borrow some money. We have zero loan at the moment, so we could pretty much borrow quite a bit, I would assume, anyway, if we wanted to. Maybe not the wisest of ideas, but uh, if we want to borrow something, we can. I'm looking 45%. Oh, yeah, I think we can finish that field on that. At least it looks to me like we can. And looks like uh, course plays almost uh, done with this field. I think I'm maybe going to go over there and uh, spray a little bit. Looks like he, uh, just with the turns there, probably missed some. And then, uh, yeah, like I said, I might throw the... Well, I guess it doesn't really matter if I throw one of them on field 12 there. Either the sprayer or the weeder. Anyway, I've been looking at the time. Looks like it is time to wrap it up here for this episode. So again, everyone, thanks for watching. Comments or questions, be sure to leave them down below. And until uh, next time.